I'm never going to be in a training camp not thinking I can train harder. It's just my mentality. Um, so up until the week of the fight, I generally am always thinking I can do more. Um, just my attitude towards it. But um, with the way things are going now, with the way I'm, how comfortably I'm doing multiple sparring rounds, it's making me confident that my four rounds is going to be comfortable. The issue is I've never fought at an entertainment center before in front of that many people and that many cameras and the walkout and all that. So that, that drains from you in its own way. Um, I'm more working on mentally preparing myself to make sure that doesn't affect my energy levels and my focus. And who have you been using as um, training partners for this? I did see that you obviously did some rounds with uh, Ross uh, from Central MMA. Yep, yep. Um, but have you been bringing any specifically boxing uh, sparring partners yeah, in also? absolutely. So I've been doing sparring at three places at Training Grounds in Crow's Nest because we've been getting a little uh, group together there from different gyms. Uh, focus Boxing, Ronnie always helps me out, always arranges me really good level uh, sparring. And then obviously Central Coast to work with Ross. So me and Ross will punch out X amount of rounds in a row and then he puts me through some pads at the end just to burn it out. But um, funny, I haven't been able, I haven't actually suffered from finding good training this camp. Um, I think being a coach and knowing every other coach, if I turn around and say, hey, can I have a favor? No one's turned me down. You know what I mean? It's, it's lucky when you don't, you're not really threatening their guys as a fighter. Does that make sense? They know you're a coach, so they're very happy to help you. 